Number one, the results of a survey of the student body at Arondequay High School about television viewing preferences are shown below. So we have a two-way table where we have TV preference and gender and their totals are already there. Are the events student is female and student prefers drama series independent of each other? This lesson was all about independence. And independence means knowing that you're female doesn't affect your TV preference or knowing your TV preference will not affect your uh, what, knowing what gender you are. So we can use conditional probabilities to do this. And the big idea for independence, we say two events are independent if the probability of A equals the probability of A given B. So knowing B happened, knowing B happened does not change the probability of A happening, is what we say. So there's a couple things you can compute here, but I'm probably going to compute is the probability of female, and I'm also going to compute the probability of female given they like drama. So the probability of picking a random, randomly selecting a female from this survey is, well, female is 260. So we have 260 over the 490 people that were surveyed. That's the probability of female, and we can get a decimal approximation for that, and we should do that. But we can also compute this probability. This is the probability of female given drama series. So I know that they like drama series. My world now shrinks down to drama series. What's the probability of female and drama series? 70 out of 135. So are these two probabilities the same? If they are the same, they're independent. If they're not the same, they are dependent. They are not independent events. So typing this into my calculator, I get 53% for that one, for the probability of picking a female. And 70 out of 135, I get 51.8%, 58 point, 51.9%. So, are these events independent of each other? Did knowing they like drama series affect the probability of picking a female? And the answer is, yes it did. So, are the events independent? No, the events are not independent. Because the probability of female does not equal probability of female given drama. You could also say the events are dependent. They are dependent because they are not independent. Number two, given events A and B such that the probability of A is 0.6, the probability of B is 0.5, and the probability of A and B happening is 0.3, determine whether A, or B, A and B are independent or dependent. So there's two ways to do this, and I'm going to do both ways. We can use the way that we just did, that the probability of A equals the probability of A given B. Or you could do the probability of B equals the probability of B given A. doesn't matter. But this probability, whatever plain old probability you find, that should be the first thing in your conditional probability. So the probability of A is 0.6. That was easy. We need to figure out what's the probability of A given B. And we need to remember this conditional probability is the intersection is them both happening over what well, we know B happened, over the probability of B. So it's the uh, conditional probability is the probability that they both happen over the probability of the given. So 0.3 over 0.5, 3 fifths is also known as 0.6. So yes, they are independent. They are independent events because the probability of A equals the probability of A given B. Knowing that B happened didn't change the probability of A happening. The other way to do it, which is a little bit more sneaky, is if two events are independent, I can multiply their probabilities together. And that probability should give me their intersection. This only works if they're independent. I can multiply a, the probability of A times the probability of B, and that should give me the probability of them both happening. If it works, they're independent. If this statement is not true, 
they are dependent, they are not independent. So if I do 0.6 times 0.5, what does that give me? 0.6 times 0.5 is 0.30, which equals 0.3. So these events are independent because the probability of A times the probability of B is their intersection. So there's two different ways to go about it. You can say, um, you can do the probability of A equals the probability of A given B, or you can find their product and see if it's their intersect, it's, if it's the and probability, the probability of both of them happening. Yes, they are independent. Because the probability of A times the probability of B equals the probability of A and B. Two different ways to do it. They come from that same idea. You should have both tools at your disposal. However, I think this is the more important one to have. And finally, a radio station did a survey to determine what kind of music to play by taking a, a sample of middle school, high school, and college students. I don't know why that period is there. They were asked which of three different types of music they preferred on the radio, hip-hop, alternative, or classic rock. Do these data suggest that students' age and music preference are independent of each other? Justify your answer. So, does knowing their age affect their music choice, or does knowing their music choice affect the probability of picking someone of that age? Well, there's something I don't like about this two-way table, and it's that I'm missing the totals. I don't have my total row and column here, so it's not that useful. So, how many people like hip-hop? How many people like hip hop? 28 plus 22 plus 16 gives me 66. Alternative, 18 plus 22 plus 20 gave me 60. And 4, 6, and 14 gives me 24. So altogether, I have 150. How many middle school? kids were asked. 4 plus 18 plus 28, that's 50. How many high school? 22 plus 22 plus 6 is 50. And 50. So let's do the probability of hip-hop. Let's just find the probability of picking someone who likes hip-hop. That's 66 out of 150. 66 out of 150 is 44%. Now, why did I pick that? I don't know. I'm just seeing, I'm going to try some conditional probabilities here to see if there's, if there's an association between them, if they're independent or if they are dependent on each other. So now I need to do the probability of hip-hop given something. Let's do hip-hop given, I don't know, high school. So let's put a hip there instead of an H, because I didn't realize high school was there. So we'll do hip-hop given high school. Hip-hop given high school. So my world has now shrunk. I have shrunk my world to only looking at high schoolers. That probability is 22 over, well, how many high schoolers did I shrink my world to? To 50. 22 to 50 gives me 44%. So it does appear, it does appear that hip hop and being in high school. are independent. Independent. Why are they independent? The probability of hip-hop equal the probability of hip-hop given high school. Let's try a different category just to see how that works. Let's do classic rock. The probability of classic rock is 24 out of 150. 24 out of 150 gives us what probability? It gives us a 16% probability. 
Now let's do the probability of, let's, I don't know, let's pick an age group here. Let's do classic rock given middle school. Four out of 50. Why did I go out of 50 this time? Because my I was given middle school. My world shrunk to middle school. So four out of 50, that's only an 8%. That's only an 8% chance. So are these two events independent? No. Um, classic rock. Liking classic rock and middle school are dependent. So for some music groups there is an independent they are independent, some of them they're not. So there is some kind of association between music preference and school and um, age. There is some kind of association. They're not all independent. Some of them are. High school and hip hop are independent. But not all of the groups, not all of the values here are independent. So the big idea for independence, number two displays it quickly. There's two different ways to test for independence. The probability of A equals the probability of A given B. Or you can multiply the probability of A and B and you should get the probability of both of them occurring. But the idea of independence is knowing something happened, knowing that B happened, doesn't change the probability of A. If knowing B happened does change the probability, then they are dependent. They are not independent. We'll be working with independence more in the next couple lessons, but it's a big idea that you need to get down and know how conditional probability relates to it.